What is going on everybody? Sam Dog the Infamous 253 coming at you guys from downstairs. I got Dallas over here. We want to try to recap the, uh, give you guys a little good recap of our big win yesterday against the Cincinnati Bengals as we're watching Monday Night Football, the first game between the uh, Saints and the uh, Texans. So um, first we'll get down to the negatives. What do you, obviously first negative is secondary. Secondary needs a lot of work, especially with the way Tedder Thompson missed that play, should have, you know, played uh, John Ross on that bomb that uh, Andy Dalton threw for the touchdown at the end of the first half, which could have been a freaking uh, game 14, changer. Could have been a 14 to 10 lead for us instead. It turned out to be a 17 14 first half lead for the uh, Bengals. So, anything else you want to mention in there? Uh, the pass protection, the offensive line, and what, four sacks? Four sacks we gave up, but then again, we had four sacks of our own on Andy Dalton. Uh, Chris Carson had some nice runs. We had two of the three. the negatives first. Oh, the negatives? Um, yeah, the, the offensive the fumble. line. The offensive fumble. line, the fumble. Yeah, I mean. The deep plays. Yeah, too many deep plays. Letting Andy, Dal uh, Andy Dalton throw for 418. Uh, inexcusable. The next two weeks is Roethlisberger and Breeze. Yeah, but after, I mean, but we'll talk about, we'll talk about this. Our next game, but I'll tell you what. After what I saw, what me and Dallas saw last night, we, we will mention this. After what we saw last night with the freaking uh, with the Steelers against the Patriots, I have I'm pretty conf I'm pretty confident about about that our game, about our chances against Pittsburgh. You, obviously, you can't fall into a trap, but th you got to yeah. win that one. I'm still not sleeping on Pittsburgh, but I feel damn good about our chances going into Pittsburgh. Because yeah, they didn't really show anything last night. No, they couldn't run the ball. Roethlisberger was missing passes and getting pressured in the backfield most of the game. But yeah, we, we have to. It, the only, I mean, we have to go there. That's the only only issue. If, that's the only issue. But it's a game we need to get because yeah. that New Orleans game is. That might be the toughest game on the schedule. I I still I think I see New Orleans as a first loss, but the keys of that one, the negative was obviously there was no Ziggy Ansah, no Mike Upati on the offensive line yet. So, I mean, we were lacking a few. I mean, Wilson held onto the ball too long on some of the on two of the sacks that he on a couple of the sacks he took. So, I've always been saying about Russell. One thing I've been critical about Russell Wilson on is how much how long he holds onto the ball for. You know, so there was just that. So that's another. I guess negative. that those were the negatives. Positives, no. First positive I want to point out: DK Metcalf surpassing Steve Largent's rookie debut record because Largent had 86 receiving yards and then uh, Metcalf had the 89. Could have looked like he could have gone for way more, but Metcalf shined in his freaking debut game as a Seahawk at the receiver position. Uh, Chris Carson with a couple, with a what? He's caught a screen pass for a touchdown and then yeah, he, he ran in the first one. Yeah, ran in the first um, one. Metcalf, uh, had some great, had some long, deep throws that he was able to catch. Um, oh, uh, getting the fumble after we had turned it over, that was a game saver. Well, Cincinnati could have gone up 10. Yeah, they could have gone up 10. But the but, ball slipped out of Dalton's hands because of the conditions. But because of the ball not hitting the ground, technically Al Woods got an interception. So it's been an interception. That really saved us. And I, uh, Stopping them on the fourth and one. What about the, the special quarter. teams when there were the flags down and the guy kept on? The guy, that. Re, that oh, that that special teams recovery. Yeah, that special team. That guy tried way too hard. And think, who stripped him on that play? I, I don't know. The three turnovers were the reason why we were able to hold on and win. And then I think another reason, a pod, the reason. Oh, and then the stop on fourth down it, late, early in the fourth quarter. Yeah. When they could have kicked a long field goal. And then finally, last but not least, the bomb to Tyler Lockett for the touchdown. It turned out to be the game winner. And I guess the other key to that was Jason Myers making the PAT to make it 21 because of then we get the stop. And then I will still say this, though. The final play when we were trying to stop, uh, when we were trying to stop the Bengals. I mean, I wanted to try to end the game by getting a first down. We take a delay of game, and we try to burn some clock down. Russell runs, and we burn the clock down before we punt it. But I love the way the defense just came at it. And then, I mean, in that last play, Rasheem Green, you know, show us that USC muscle, Rasheem Green, gets a strip. But in the way that when I was looking at it, when they were reviewing it, I still kind of think, you know, they would have got, they should have gotten one more play on it, though. Honestly, and that's my honest opinion because of because Dalton's hand looked like more was being it was going forward. So it was kind of a controversial way for the Bengals to lose. I know Bengals are going to be pissed about that, but hey, you know something though, 
I don't think anybody's sleeping. I don't think anybody's gonna be sleeping on you anymore after the close game you gave us. So I hope y'all next week, man. We'll mention that. We'll mention what we're gonna say about you guys in, your in our next game, game. In our game picks. In our game picks next week. So there's that. But but there were positives, but there were negatives. So Pete and John definitely are on it to fix the negatives, and hopefully we can go in there and just. I mean, game picks. Pittsburgh hate week. I know Eric of Steel is doing his doing his hate week. Shout out to Eric of Steel, one of my. Well, they're really friends. gonna have to. Hold on. Hit the hit hit the oh. Yeah, so shout out to my man Eric Steele. He's one of my good subscribers. I'm subbed to his channel. Check him out. He's a dire Steelers fan. He knows he's doing it. He's part of that TTC. He's doing a little trash talk on us. So I want to kind of do a little trash talk of him when we go over to Pittsburgh and put Ben on his fat ass this Saturday. Hopefully with Clowney and freaking. Hopefully Puna Four comes back and then. But Clowney and Quentin Jefferson. Are this gonna, Sunday, you mean? This coming Sunday, exactly. So kind of put that out. But Eric Steele, you know, I, you know, I love you, buddy. You still, you awesome. Go check them out, but but yeah, oh yeah, damn, Quentin Jefferson and Jadeveon Clowney, oh, man. Yeah, Jefferson, and yeah, they got to the they got to Andy Dalton and Quentin Jefferson batted a couple of passes on batted some passes on back to back plays. Whew. But anyway, that's pretty much all we want to get out. Talk about that. Put a little Steelers hate week in that too. Now we're gonna go watch. Who is this. the Steeler fan? His name is Eric of Steel. He's a YouTuber. E R I K of Steel. He's oh, they're gonna have to play a lot better than they did last night. Oh yeah. Same with us. Oh yeah, we gotta play a lot better. But I think we can definitely do a lot better than what we did last night. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Also, announcement: Me and Dallas are gonna be going live on the uh, Acer laptop right here for the. Uh, Raiders versus Broncos game, the one game that we split on for our decisions. We're going to go live and react to that. He picked the Broncos, I picked the Raiders, if you remember back in the game pick. So once, once so when, when it's 7.20, we'll be going live for that. So thank you all for tuning in. And if you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. As always, go Seahawks.